Hi, uh, Mark McRae from Inaxis here in beautiful Montreal. Uh, next, I'd like to talk about uh, card security. So um, I have four piles here in front of me and I'm going to be demonstrating four different types of uh, 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 card protocol technology. So um, it has to do with the frequencies of the card and also has to do whether or not the card has encryption on the card or not and at what level the encryption might be. Um, so this com all comes down to card security. What is the most secure format of card that you can use for your organization? Uh, maybe also what's the best price value that you could have? And then also maybe uh, uh, you would be adding or changing cards based on what you currently have. So that might be a reason why you might want to stay with a less secure card format, although we never suggest that. So I'll start with the first one at the beginning. So these are examples, uh, a photo ID style or an ISO style, a key tag um, and a clamshell style, which are all standard proximity. So by standard proximity, what I mean is 125 kilohertz proximity cards. And the readers that you see in front of you, these are all multi-reading uh, technology readers. So they will read 125 kilohertz cards. So the formats that they will read in 125 kilohertz cards is the ICT 125 kilohertz format, the HID standard prox 125 kilohertz, the position technology or POS uh, uh, format, which is also 125 kilohertz. Um, and these readers, since they are multiple technology readers, well, they'll read low fre frequency 125 kilohertz and also higher frequency that I'm going to talk about in a second. The disadvantage of the 125 kilohertz cards is that they, they do not have any encryption in them. Um, when you present them to a reader, the reader will power up the, 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 the chip that's inside the card via an antenna that's embedded in the card. It will power it up and the card will then start throwing out its, its site code and its card number. And there is no encryption, there's no handshake, there's no card security associated to the fact that it throws out the card number. Um, these are very, very, very common. They started my belief in the 80s. Uh, I've been around since the 80s doing uh, access control systems and these have existed since minute number one that I started in the industry. And they are still, unfortunately, very, very, very common. I say unfortunately mostly because there's very little card security. They're extremely, extremely easy to copy. So uh, not a very high ca card security. Uh, about as low as you can get on card security would be standard prox 125 kilohertz. Very easy to copy. Uh, next and better is we're starting to have um, memory storage devices on cards. So these are MyFair cards, MyFair Classic cards. So every one of these cards, whether it be in photo ID or my remote or a clamshell card, or actually my little disc is a MyFair uh, disc, um, all of these behave a little bit the same way as the, uh, as the standard proximity. There is a chip inside of here, there is an antenna, but that chip that's in the inside of here has a, an encryption in it. And the encryption on this one here is called Crypto One on a MyFair card. It's, uh, the, the chip inside of here is made uh, by a company called NXP. Uh, NXP used to be Philips Electronics uh, way back in the day. So what a MyFair card has is inside of this, it's a bit like a, a, a small hard drive. There are 16 sectors inside of the, the, the card and we will put our card number in one of those sectors and we will encrypt the card number that's in the sector, okay? Um, so this is an encrypted chip with an encrypted card number inside of one of the sectors and that combination makes it a secure card. But the MyFair Classic format has been cracked. It is compromised. So if ever someone was to get hold of your card and uh, using some specialized devices, it is possible to copy my fair cards, right? They are much higher security than standard prox, but they are copyable cards, okay? So that's the second level. The third and best level, or starting to be the best level, is uh, a format called my fair desfire, or desfire for short. Um, the advantage of the desfire um, is that it comes in 128-bit 
with a, a 128-bit AES for a Advanced Encryption Standard format. Um, so this is a Desfire EV1 card, so it also presents on a reader and badges on a reader. So Desfire EV1. This is a Desfire EV1 key tag. So for example, we'll read here. And one of the disadvantages I would say with Desfire is the read distances, because it's a more complex card to read, the read dis distances are not as high as they would be for standard Prox or MyFair. So you, you're, you're reducing the read range typically as you go higher up in technology, okay? So these are Desfire EV1. And this one here is the, the latest and greatest, uh, Desfire EV2. Um, and so this is the most secure card format that exists right now on the marketplace. And the uh, same thing as for uh, uh, Desfire or MyFair. Well, on one of the sectors inside of here, we encrypt the ICT secure card number. It's encrypted on there. And uh, the Desfire EV2 uh, chip itself actually has the highest encryption and the highest card security, uh, AES card security that's available on the marketplace. So typical here, if I read it, for example, on, on the card readers. Okay, so those are the three, uh, uh, let's say four total uh, diff different types of um, ways that a card can encrypt the card information. Uh, the, the best level, if you can, try to get away from those that can be copied. Go towards Desfire, Desfire EV2. They have never been compromised. Very, very high security. The best available on the marketplace on in-card security is from Desfire and Desfire EV2. Uh, less security a bit is my fare, and the least security, but definitely the most common that exists in the world or standard proximity, 125 kilohertz standard proximity. So as you're going forward in time and replacing cards and readers, you should always try to go towards the highest security. It's why we're there. We're there to sell security to our customers. Uh, of course, convenience, but security is the number one thing that we're trying to sell. All right. Um, again, we have... Uh, hundreds and hundreds, thousands probably of readers in stock that are high security readers, that are Bluetooth readers, uh, and we have tens of thousands of Desfire, Desfire EV2 and MyFair cards in stock, as well as some older uh, low frequency 125 kilohertz standard prox cards that we still have in stock. Uh, thank you very much and uh, have a good day. I mentioned in my earlier videos that we had lots of stock and this is one of the biggest problems in our industry currently is lack of stock of cards and of readers and as you can see I wasn't fooling around these are all just simply key tags um, these are all the different formats key tags remotes uh, different types of readers that we have uh, these are 125 kilohertz readers these are combo readers uh, down here we have some standard size desfire myfair readers standard size 125 kilohertz uh, wristbands more readers of the mini size the smaller size of the readers um, our Desfire EV2, Desfire EV1 cards, 125 kilohertz cards. So we have all of the stock that you need. We currently have it in stock in Montreal. So uh, we would love to work with you on all of your projects. And, uh, and uh, uh, my fair Desfire, Desfire EV2, we can help you out. The highest uh, security available in the marketplace. We have stock. Uh, contact our sales team at sales.anaccess.com. Thank you.